A few videos ago, I talked about finding the optimal tilt angle for your solar panels. But I got a few questions. The first one is, what is the optimal tilt for east or west facing panels? And the second question, what is the difference in power production between east, west and south? In this video, I will be analyzing Houston, Sydney, Nairobi and Vancouver. Let me share my screen and look at some data. I'm using a simulation tool called PVWatts, a resource from the US Department of Energy that works globally. I've tested it and the data is correct. First, let's set up a 1 kW south facing array in Houston, Texas, which is optimized for a year round tilt angle. The latitude of Houston is 30 degrees. Using my calculator from the previous video, we should angle our solar panels to 28 degrees. In the next step, we have to fill in our azimuth. North is 0 degrees, east is 90 degrees, south is 180 degrees and west is 270 degrees. We will fill in our 28 degree tilt angle and the azimuth of 180 degrees, which is south. With this setup, we get a total production of 1423 kilowatt hours per year. This is the max output we will see from this 1 kilowatt array. Now, let's see the difference when we face the panels east. The tilt stays the same, but we set the azimuth to 90 degrees for east. This gives us an annual production of 1217 kilowatt hours. But can we improve this? Yes. If we lay the panels flat, production increases to 1314 kilowatt hours per year. Why? A flat panel harvests sunlight from east to west throughout the day. This is true for a west facing array as well. But let's say your roof is tilted at 33% or 412, which is typical for American homes. You can use PV watts to plug in your own numbers. But here's what I found. South facing panels at a 30% tilt angle produce 1411 kilowatt hours per year. East facing panels at the same tilt produces 1185 kilowatt hours per year. And west facing panels will produce 1175 kilowatt hours per year. As you can see, for a home in Houston, Texas, with a 30% roof slope, you will harvest about 20% less energy throughout the year. Not bad in my opinion. Did you expect more or less energy loss? Is this 20% efficiency loss the same everywhere around the world? 5% of my subscribers are from Australia. So let's see if there's a difference in the southern hemisphere. Sydney has a latitude of minus 34 degrees. Using my tilt calculator, we get a year-round tilt angle of 32 degrees. Entering the data in PV watts with a north-facing azimuth of 0 degrees, we get 1510 kilowatt hours per year. This is the maximum we can get from 1000 watts of solar panels. Comparing east and west at the same tilt. East facing will be 1204 kilowatt hours per year and west facing will produce 1208 kilowatt hours per year. That's a 25% reduction in efficiency. It's more than a 20% we saw in Houston. Why is there more difference in Sydney than there is in Houston? Let's check out Nairobi, Kenya, which is close to the equator. The optimal tilt angle here is 0 degrees, so the panels should be flat. Here's what we will get. For south, east and west, we get 1407 kilowatt hours per year. These three are all the same. There's no difference because the sun is almost directly overhead. But if the roof is tilted at 33%, here's how it changes. South facing will produce 1246 kilowatt hours per year. East facing 1217 and west facing 1278. That's only a 2% reduction. So, the closer you are to the equator, the less impact an east-west array 
as compared to a south facing one. Can you tell I'm having fun calculating all these different situations? If you do as well, give the video a like. What about a cabin in Vancouver, Canada, where the optimal tilt is 47 degrees? If we face the panels south, we get 1042 kilowatt hours per year. If we face the panels east, we have 736 kilowatt hours per year. And if we face them west, we get 781 kilowatt hours per year. We have an energy loss of 41 and 33%. As expected, the further you are from the equator, the bigger the difference. Interestingly, in most tests, the west facing panels slightly outperformed the east facing ones. It could be due to morning fog, dew or something else. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have an east-west facing roof, you might actually harvest more solar power because you can fit more panels. If you're limited to one orientation and are off-grid, stick to a south-facing solar array. But if you're grid connected and not getting much for feeding power back into the grid, an east-west array could be more beneficial, since you'll use most of your energy in the morning and evening. When we think about the future, grid feed-in tariffs are only going to get worse, so planning ahead might be a good thing. The closer you are to the equator, the less difference there is between east, west and south facing panels, because the sun is right overhead. Overall, the drawbacks of an east-west setup aren't as bad as many people think. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips on optimizing your solar setup.